Welcome to Engage Spaces. And today we're going to be discussing task cross posting. So, what happens when you have two teams that need to work together and one team needs to communicate with the other but doesn't know who in the team to communicate with? What happens when they're both working on the same project and we need to somehow create a communication channel for all those teams to work together, but we don't know how to follow the correct protocols and details of that other team. Task cross-posting is designed to solve the challenges that exist when it comes to working between two different teams and managing your projects. So let's get started. To demonstrate task cross-posting, let's use an example. Let's say we're a part of the Ontario Volunteers team and we wanna create a social media post specifically to let new people know about the opportunity to volunteer in Ontario. Well, to do so, we want to make a request directly to our social media team. But how do we do that on engaged spaces? With task cross posting, all we need to do is come to our tasks within the Ontario Volunteers workspace. We can come up here to create a new task. And now when we come to create a task, we now have the ability to cross post this task to another workspace. So for example, I can go ahead and find the social media team and cross post to that workspace. I can find some of the templates that they offer within their workspace, like the social media post request. And now their template is listed inside my workspace where I can share task requests to them. So let's go ahead and create a task request now. We want to create a volunteer sign up post. Um, we don't necessarily know who we need to assign to, so we can leave this section blank. Or if we want to add someone else, we can go ahead and add someone into the conversation as well. We can give a basic description of the post itself and the value of it, or we can directly now use the template to describe our event. So what is the purpose of your request? Uh, volunteer sign up. Uh, who is the intended audience? In this case, potential non-members. We want to get new volunteers to come join our team. Uh, what type of media post are you requesting? In this case, I think we just want to do a photo. And what is your vision for this post? Uh, I want this post to look like um, a new job offer um, that's fun and exciting. Obviously, all these details for this specific request are completely customizable um, when it comes to developing a task template. If we need to as well, we can attach an attachment of an example we'd want to save or share. And all we have to do is go ahead and hit save. We've generated now the volunteer signup post here within our workspace, the Ontario Volunteers. We can enter into the task just like other tasks, uh, add messages, create posts. Hi, at Brianna, um, can you help me with this project? We can easily share that post, but now what's great about task cross-posting is if we go to the social media team workspace, so we can come up here to it here, if, say, I wasn't a part of it, if Greg Crumblehorn wasn't a part of this specific workspace, but the other people in the social media team were, they would immediately have access to this new task that was just posted from the Ontario Volunteers workspace. So now the social media team can directly see this new uh, post that was created. They can see the task itself. They can go ahead, change the status of the task in progress. They can also join into the conversation, add their own request, add their own details, ask um, more information like, uh, can you explain further your vision? They can obviously as well add more uh, information, give more details, and members of this workspace can also mark the task complete. So that way, between the two teams and between the two workspaces, we're able to work together and collaboratively complete this particular uh, problem of a uh, social media post for the Ontario volunteers. Now, to be able to create task cross-posting, uh, we need to identify the workspaces we'd like to have available to other workspaces to post into. Uh, so for example, the social media team wants to make their task cross-posting available. Inside the social media team, the owner needs to come to event details. And in event details, they just need to click on the allow cross posting button. Once you click on this button, it will allow volunteers or any member from another uh, 
specific workspace to be able to post directly into uh, a task in this current workspace. And there you have it, just a quick overview of how to get started with task uh, cross-posting and the value of task cross-posting itself. If you'd like to learn more about this feature or other features that we have available, go ahead and check out engagespaces.com, or you can check out our help center on the website and look at some of our cool tips and tricks that we offer to teach you about using Engage Spaces.